I'm sorry, Sean. Oh! Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Yes, there are lots of other things that can help with gas. Like probiotics. Digestive enzymes. And even activated charcoal. But we're here to talk about the top 10 herbs and spices for gas. Flatulence. Passing wind. Tooty toot farts. Whatever the heck you want to call them. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that smelly gas today on Eccentric Nature. And now, the top 10 herbs and spices for gas. Number 10, coriander and cilantro. You know what the really awesome part about the coriander plant is? It gives us both the coriander spice and the cilantro herb to help fight gas. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. But don't you normally find coriander and cilantro in lots of dishes that actually give you gas? Especially in things like Mexican dishes that include beans. Beans are like the starting quarterback of fart foods. Yes, you can find coriander and cilantro in many gas-causing dishes. But despite adding a great flavor, both coriander and cilantro have been added to many dishes in the past specifically because they can help alleviate flatulence. Number nine. Turmeric. This mega spice is relatively new to the Western world, but it has a long history of being used medicinally, including being used as an effective remedy for both bloating and gas. And turmeric's effectiveness has been backed up by various studies and the German Commission E. Really? That's what it's called? Okay. And it's one of the world's leading authority on herbs. Turmeric helps get those saliva glands dripping and stimulates bile production in the liver, all of which promote healthier digestion. It also helps prevent the acids that may cause gassy buildup and is great for other digestive problems like indigestion, nausea, heartburn, and diarrhea. Many experts say if you want to stop cutting the proverbial cheese, taking a tablespoon of turmeric will do the trick. Number 8. Star Anise Oh, it's so pretty! And now that you know it's great for flatulence, you can admire it even more. Star anise helps to calm stomach spasms, and its stomach relaxing properties are great for avoiding bloating, easing digestion after heavy meals, and helping with stomach aches and cramping. Star anise is a great spice to have in certain foods, but is also tasty in the right tea. Or if you'd rather, like pretty much every other seed on this list, you can just grab a little bit and chew on some of the seeds after a meal. Number seven, anise seed. What, we just did star anise. No, anise seed is different. Watch this video to find out how. Anise seed is apparently better at helping to alleviate gas and bloating than it is at controlling the condition in the first place. Even the ancient Romans used to make anise seed cakes, which were served after feasts to prevent the inevitable after feast fart fest. Sorry, but I just can't pass up great alliteration. Research shows that anise seeds antibacterial properties and carminative effects are great for relaxing your intestines and digestive system to lower gas levels caused by a stressed out or tense digestive process. And the dose needed for this is also quite low. A mere 0.5 to 3 grams of anise seed per day is apparently all you need to help you out. Well, how marvelous. Anise seed tea, anyone? Number six, cumin. In some places, Cumin is considered the most effective natural treatment for gas. And heck, in ancient Sanskrit, cumin's name actually means that which helps digestion. So it's no surprise to those who know it that research shows this beauty of a spice is actually great for belching, nausea, cramps, stomach acidity, and bloating. In fact, some researchers believe that cumin can be an effective replacement for expensive prescription drugs to treat problems like irritable bowel syndrome. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Number 5. Pepper. Both black and white peppers are amazingly helpful for helping with gas. Black pepper has piperine, which essentially makes it easier to get the nutrients out of your food and improves food's bioavailability. All in all, it's great for spicing up your digestive system to help prevent gas from building up. See what I did there? Spicing it up, because it's a spice.
Yeah, a joke isn't very good if you have to explain it. White pepper, like many herbs on this list, is awesome at chilling out your digestive system so it doesn't get stressed. It's also great for relaxing the colon, helping to ease constipation. And its thermogenic effect helps you to burn calories. Which is great if you want to burn some excess fat or just want an excuse to eat more ice cream. Number four, cardamom. A staple in Indian dishes and chai teas. These tasty little seeds are a great gas and bloat fighter. In fact, some experts say it should be the number one herb on this list. It's also one of the best spices to pair with other herbs and spices. In addition to helping with gas, it's also very good at removing excess fluids from your system, which is helpful for getting toxins out of your body and making things easier on your urinary tract and kidneys. Yes, 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 yes! Number three, peppermint. While peppermint's getting all the hype, other types of mint can help with gas as well. This is largely in thanks to its high menthol content. And this is good menthol. As you may know, menthol was temporarily Darth Vaderid and vilified thanks to its use in cigarettes. But it has seen the light again! The menthol in peppermint is a potent anti-inflammatory that is great at soothing stomach discomfort. Its analgesic and antispasmodic properties also help to move things along and prevent gas from building up. You can often find mint or menthol in various over-the-counter medications that are meant for various digestive issues like flatulence or bloating. There are also multiple studies on peppermint tea showing how it can ease that discomfort of a bloated belly. But if you want to try some peppermint tea, it's best to have it fresh or loose leaf. But the mint in tea bags has been pulled down so much that it loses most of the power from its volatile oils and menthol. Number two, ginger. This powerhouse spice is particularly good at stimulating your rhythmic contractions in your intestines and getting your digestion to groove to a faster beat. Oh yeah, go ginger, get busy, cure my bloating. One review found that ginger keeps food just moving along, so gas and bloating don't have time to build up and cause problems. Ginger can also nullify toxins in the digestive system and reduce spasms in your gut. Recent analysis even shows that ginger can enhance fat digestion. You can have ginger in your food, in capsules, or even have some ginger tea before or after meals. Honorable mentions. Well, I've actually mentioned a couple of them in this video. Basically, every urban spice in the parsley family has the ability to reduce massive amounts of gas and bloating. The parsley family includes things like dill, cumin, coriander, anise seed, and caraway. And of course, parsley. Other contenders include cayenne pepper, bay leaves, carom seeds, thyme, sage, allspice, cloves, dandelion, basil, nutmeg, cinnamon, and sweet Sicily, which has been traditionally boiled with things like cabbage and Brussels sprouts to reduce their flatulent side effects. Another controversial contender is garlic. I thought that makes you smelly, not stops you from being smelly. Well, in some cases, yes. But according to research, in the right dose, and for the right people, it can also prevent gas, as it's very good at stopping annoying yeasts in your stomach. And the number one herb or spice for gas, fennel. There certainly can be debate as to which herb or spice deserves this spot, but you just can't debate fennel's effectiveness for stopping bloating or flatulence. Monks in the Middle Ages would eat handfuls of fennel seeds when fasting to decrease their appetite and stop bloating. Research shows fennel is an awesome anti-inflammatory, particularly in the digestive tract. It helps inhibit muscle spasms and breaks down food more efficiently. Which is part of what helps you stop farting. Why do I never feel comfortable using that word? Fart. A 2016 study found that the anatholin in fennel seed helped recondition hindered gastric emptying. Which is just a fancy way of saying that it moves things along so gas doesn't have a chance to build up. Fennel also has aspartic acid, which is great at helping to break down gas in your digestive tract. Fennel even stimulates activity in your stomach. This reduces pressure and bloating, stops belching, and even helps you absorb nutrients from your food. If you want to try it, 
Most experts say just grab a half teaspoon of fennel seeds and chow down. Or if you'd rather, you could have a cup of fennel tea after your meal. Now these are all just rough guidelines. If any of these herbs or spices aren't working for you, you might just need more. And you can easily find all of them for sale in a stronger dose. In either pill or powdered form. Hopefully one way or another. These herbs and spices can help calm your innards. And stop the siege of that uncomfortable bloating and unruly noxious gas. Have you had success with any of these herbs or spices for gas? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you want to learn about either the top 10 herbs for pain or anxiety, please watch one of these videos right here. Please be kind. Take care of each other and try out some of these herbs and spices for gas so your friends can stop complaining about your silent but deadly attacks. You know what I'm talking about.